standard deviation, pretty straightforward, uh, not too horribly difficult. t-test is a little bit more challenging. Remember the t-test compares two sets of data to see if the sets of data overlap, are not significantly different, or if they are significantly different and don't overlap. And the threshold number is 0.05 or 5%. Or um, so let's go ahead and, and do the first one. We're going to have to do these individually because we're comparing everything back to 20 degrees, which is room temperature. So um, we'll start with the, the 4 degree temperature and compare it to 20 degrees. All right, so I'm clicking in the box I want the, the test to be done in. And then you'll want to click the function, go over to T test, double click that. And it's asking you for a bunch of information here. So let's scroll back over here to um, our raw data. Our first array here, I'm clicking in the box, is going to be the four degree values again, just like we've done before. So click, drag, and select all of those. The second array is going to be the 20 degree measurement. So click and drag across the 20 degree measurements. We want two tails because uh, some of the values are above and some of the values are below the average. So you'll put two in there. And the type, um, we want the paired t-test, which is number one. All right, and so if we click enter, uh, we get our t-test value. And you can see that this t-test uh, gives us a result that's much less than 0.05. So these two sets of data, the four degree Celsius reaction rates and the 20 degree Celsius reaction rates are actually significantly different from one another. So catalase uh, is reacting at a significantly lower rate at 4 degrees than at 20 degrees Celsius, which is something that you'll talk about in the discussion section. Okay, so next we have 20 to 20, um, and since this is obviously the same thing compared to itself, it's going to give you a, a not, it won't give you a result. So. We're just going to put not applicable in this box. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. There we go. Um, and move on. All right, so the third one here is 37 degrees compared to 20 degrees. Um, we're not going to be able to fill down this time because it's uh, we're constantly comparing back to 20 degrees. So it, it'll get confused if you try to fill down. You actually have to do these independently. Okay, so just to remind you of the process, click in the box where you want the, the number to appear, go up to function, select your function, which this time is t-test, double click, scroll over to the raw data, and now you're gonna select your raw data. So remember for uh, the first array, we want the 37 degree uh, values, and we're going to be comparing that to the 20 degree, the room temperature values. Always two tails and always the paired t-test, which is type number one. All right, so this one is 0 0.06, which is greater than 0 0.05. So there is no significant difference between uh, the data at 20 degrees and the data at 37 degrees suggesting that catalase uh, will perform the reaction at the same rate, essentially the same rate, at both temperatures. So no significant, significant difference there. All right, moving on to the last one, 80 degrees Celsius. Um, we'll click in the box, click the function button, select our t-test, just like we've done before. Um, this time we're comparing the 80 degree values to the 20 degree values. All right, so those two lines. Um, two tails, type one, click enter, 
And here we have a value that's uh, 0.224, which again is, is not significantly different um, from, from the value 0.206. Actually, I'm wondering, did I did I get that right? Seems a little strange. Um, B five, yes, and B seven. All right, yeah, it looks like I chose the correct data. So, um, for this set of these two sets of data, there actually is no significant difference between uh, twenty degrees and eighty degrees. And um, since that's what the data tells us, that's what our conclusions are. Okay, so at this point, um, we've finished up the table for part B, which is um, the part of the experiment where you looked at the reaction rates of catalase whoops, at different temperatures. And we want to put this table into our Word document. So um, we want to format it in standard scientific writing format. We're going to select these top words here, the titles for the table, make them bold. Um, we also want to add in a border above the words, the titles, and below the titles. So uh, I'm going to select this, this border function here, and I'm going to select a top, and then go back and select the bottom. All right, so I'm, I'm done with the top part here. Now I'm moving on to the bottom part. And I want to select a bottom border underneath the numbers. All right, so now I've got this uh, great table that I've, I've completed. I'm going to copy the, select the whole thing, copy it, and paste it into a, a Word document. Alright, so I'm bringing up Word. I'm just going to make a new Word document here. I'll start by putting Table 1. And uh, this, this is just going to be the title for your table. So later on, you'll want when you're writing up your paper, you'll want to add in a title there. And below that, you're going to put in your table. So just paste that in. And it should look like this. It's all formatted and and ready to go. So we're done with that part. I'm going to go back to Excel.